Okay. Uh, the July meeting of the Board of Water Commissioners is called to order. Reading of the minutes of the previous meeting. A motion to accept, or is there any changes? I, I wasn't here, so huh? I have a motion to accept. Them. Okay. Second. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? We're not done yet with the auditing of the bills yet. We're still waiting on it. Okay. Let's move on then. Uh, Cooper Lake improvements. Um, in terms of the reservoir, we are currently at 1096. So we are as full as we can be. There's a water to bring in. I mean, there's water to bring in, we can't take it. Make your computer easier to use. Cancel. Uh, last year, we were at 1093.9. So it's over two feet higher now than we were a year ago. But then we can't have gotten a drought, right? Make your computer easier to do it. The worst of it. Um, and then drops until Make later. Make your computer easier to do it. Oh, um, um, and then uh, in terms of the work being done there, so they're kind of been a lot of rain, so they do a lot of cleanup every day. Um, but they're working on the impact basin at the end of the spillway. And then they'll begin their power should be turned on for the end of this week to our new tower. Then it's just beginning to build up from the bottom to build it down. When you say the electric is being hooked up, it has to be inspected, and there's a lot of steps actually getting it done. The lines are all running. It's just the final steps to get it to the county's going to inspect it. Okay. Gonna come. So that's that's to run all the the valves, the actuators, and stuff for the valves. You mean, or because the electricity is in the building, starting it up that way is a whole other step. But everything we're pulling out of there just by just passive. Yeah, so, Gra gravity feeds, yeah. opening and closing manual valves to. Yeah, they're open. Yeah. They stay where they are. And I mean, they're expecting that we're on to to finish on target for dates and everything. Or I mean, yeah, final start. completion is scheduled for October. Hopefully, we hit that. Okay. We can't go back to the max as we tell everything. Every At this time. point, they're about, if we went much higher than we are, the water would be washing over the front of the dam. So until there's a dam higher than it is, because the core wall has been removed. So we're going to start building the clay up and build it back to the dam. So that will be a conversation between the contractor and dam safety. If we can start bringing some water, and if the water is still there, we can. Hopefully, before the end of the project, we can start bringing water in the water take. Um, we're in better shape, you think you said, now than we were a year ago. Yes, much better. Um, which brings me to my next one. So, the Ashoka Pipeline. Yeah. So, it's there currently. It's been approved to be on the ground through the end of August. Um, that's 25000 a month. So, in terms of if we want to leave it there for September, the last day, we would need to decide that by August 1st. So, I mean, I don't know if we want to take a motion now or not, or we want to kind of do an unofficial something before the end of the month. Well, we do have two extra feet. I don't know what August and September are going to bring. We're definitely in better shape, but in the event we ever needed to put it back down, it would be expensive. So, we can give it a week or two and see where we're at. We don't want to do a motion now, but huh? we, need to, we want to leave it through the end of September, we can decide by the 1st of August. What markers would you be looking at to make that decision to keep it or? Yeah, at the end of you know, three weeks, we're still at 1096, and that would be nice. So I, at this point, you know, something drastic changes. I don't see us activating the show camp, because we know reservoir four works. Right. So, I mean, if we were going to go someplace, we, something if we needed something, we, we no. would shoot back over to four anyway. The show can will be the last resort. There's no reason to activate that while four is still full. In the past, I don't think we do it anymore. I don't know. 
that information is available. They used to report that, you know, the elevation of the reservoir and in there we had X number of days of capacity left. I mean, theoretically, if we didn't get another drop of rain, yeah, if we don't get a single drop of rain coming into the reservoir, we have water through. I want to say it's the end of October. Plus, you're at, you're at three MGD, not four. Right. I mean, if we can save 25 grand, it'd be nice to save 25 grand, that's for sure. So, so another drop where you have enough water to get into the river. Well, and so we're leaving the pipe, the ones that go under the driveways and all. No, under the driveways. Those stay. Or, no, just under 28. There's or four one of the other town roads. So the Basin Road, there's there's two on Basin Road. There's one on 28, and there's one on Salt Hill. That's that. Everything else is picked up. And do you have any issue if we pull it out? Are you concerned? I mean, I don't think we need a motion now. I mean, if something changes in the next two weeks, I think I could send out the email on the 31st and just and, and do a by then. You know, like mm -hmm. a then we can backdate the motion come the August meeting. That's why I checked on Tuesday. Like, what's the absolute drop yeah. for them to get an email from me that they want to keep it? And even if, um, so they wouldn't have to know by August 1st. Yes. We're good until August or July. They're good until be, when? It's scheduled to be picked up at the end of the, the month, by the end of October, end of August. End of August. So it's going to be there to the end of August. Any other municipality or anything, you know, have a drought continuation from last year other than us? Not that I'm aware of. I think there were some drought conditions early this spring and summer. Well, we sure. Last spell. April so 9th. I don't no, think they had to carry on travel as we did. Ours was mostly because of the construction. So and they're not forecasting any additional drought no. this year, right? Based on things are we got rain forecast every single day for the next 10 days. Mm -hmm. the then rain, we get a little bit less rain for yeah. the construction of season. And like you said, anyway, uh, I mean, our first thing is going to go to. Um, yeah, we know four works and we didn't know that last year. Right. And so why don't, why don't we do it by, so by email on um, we need to do it July again. 31st or whatever yeah. date you need to, to know by. But if, if we're where we are right now, two two weeks from now, or three weeks from now. Um, and we know that reservoir four is our first option anyway. And we're 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 down probably a good seven hundred thousand gallons, if not more, per day on our leakage, right? Yeah, on our needs. Well, that's probably good. So okay. Sounds good. We'll hold off on that then. Anything else on Cooper Lake? No. Okay. Valve replacement? So they've begun the work. They've been doing test pits this week. Uh, hopefully they finish those test pits up tomorrow. Then they'll order for valves. And they're thinking based on the, based on the suspected ODs of all the pipes that the valves will be in within the next two or three weeks we'll be back to start the work, the actual valve work. So what do they have to do? They're measuring the pipe to make sure it's, they know what they're ordering. Okay, as opposed to we don't have that information like on file, or they just want to make sure we that know it's like a 16 inch main, but in terms of how wide it helps the diameter of it is, they have to, before they order a valve, they have, they're just digging where the valve can go. They measure the pipe, close the hole back up two weeks, and then come back and sell the valve. Unless we happen to have a break right in that spot, we're not going to know for sure what that is. So it was installed three years ago. And we don't know how many we're going to get actually done, right? I mean, we we approved yeah, like eight. eight that we're doing. Yeah. We're hoping that things went smoothly. That we could do more or not? Um, either that or we could do more. See ya. 
we have that as well. Tall one EFC project, so we can do that as well. Okay. Well, a lot depended upon, I guess, wasn't there something when we we were approving it that we were yeah, there's contingencies for line stuff. So we probably probably need to be done the trip planning on doing those. Okay. Because the cost to to not do those line stops and the event valves don't work was the far see the contingency because you have to have them sit and wait for three days to schedule a line stop company to come in. You just can't schedule a line stop company and tell them we might need you. So so it's not likely there were, there's gonna be extra money to do additional valves. Um we don't know. I mean, there might be some money left over in the contract. Probably not enough to move out. Okay. I think we could probably use some more SCADA work. Okay. So that will help with the SCADA for Cooper Lake and that kind of stuff. Okay. D schedule. So everything is the same as the last time it was approved, with the exception of seeing even more now. And I got sat down with the map, Jane, and we were charging $100 a dome, but it doesn't come anywhere near to cover our costs. And all these developers are coming and asking for this information to build and renovate or build new projects. And this would cover. What we're paying and these need to be done early in the morning you're going to get a million calls on rusty water everybody gets up and turns on the shower and they got rusty water and a hot water tank so we're doing 5 a.m you, know, you must have done one over by my area not long ago we did for the uh yeah because yeah. <laughs> it was weird because a month ago or so maybe we did yeah we did in the, the last couple of weeks yeah the new development on smith there is that where okay because yeah all of a sudden it's like ago. But yeah, so they basically the 250 would just cover the time for the four hours overtime. Two guys on two guys being called out. Plus it, Ryan has looked at it and I have to fill it out, send the email. So is that enough? They'll get us, yeah. I mean, we'll look at it again at the end of the year with any potential changes to salaries. Yeah, I don't want to short change us. I mean that, that covers it, yeah. I mean we're not so that, that that amount though is basically that's how we got to it. It's labor, it's labor cost. It's, yeah. And we know what our labor costs will be, at least for the next year. Okay. And we're good with all the rest of the fee schedule if we're going to approve everything? Yeah, Jen and I took all the other stuff. I mean, with the meter, we had removed that before just because it's such a variable cost now. Right. We have the costs right on here, but now it's more. When you need it, we'll look and see what it's going to cost. Same with the taps, so those are no longer listed on here. We price them out when they're requested and make sure we're covering the costs. What are our normal hours? Our normal hours are just nine to five, or what's what's considered after hours? Uh, for the shop, after three, they work seven to three. I anyway, do I have a motion to uh, approve the revised uh, fee schedule dealing with fire flow requests? Make a motion. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Carried. Correspondence? I have nothing. Superintendent's report. You'll notice that uh, second quarter of 23, there was a 38% reduction in lost water. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, it looks much better. And a year ago. So that's capturing that the leak is finally showing up in yes. the quarter. The full quarter, we shut that off at the end of March, I believe, March 26th, 27th. 70 million gallons, right? For a quarter? 700. Yeah. Um, what do you, 
Yeah, I mean, yes. yeah, for the quarter, plus production, yes, yeah, seven, and then the reduction is seventy million. And it brings the consumption and difference better, more in line, better in line. Years and months past. How much rain we get so far this month in the first twelve days or eleven days? There's a lot on Sunday. Yeah, a lot on Saturday, Sunday, was it? Eight point two five. Eight point two five. From July first. Huh? From That's July first to now. Yes. Four seven is half two weeks. So we double. Yeah, halfway through the month with more rain and forecast. I mean, the problem last year with the drought was that because of the drought, the stream wasn't running, so you oh, couldn't nothing. you couldn't pull anything in. At least now. We're not, we're not even pulling stuff in because we're full. Basically, so the water is just going down to the show can basically. Uh, the fact that the stream keeps, even if it gets warm and we get a drought, as long as that stream keeps moving a little bit, we can at least. Should keep running for a couple of weeks yeah. without any rain at all. It's going to be pretty saturated up there. It's running pretty well. Good news. Hey, um, so a motion to accept the superintendent's report. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Back to bills and accounts. Are we done there? Motion? Uh, motion to accept, yeah. Second. Okay. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Inspection tour. So we had talked last month about, um, thank you. Most people were here and we looked at 722 as being a day to do that. The only thing I would change now, that day still works, just our chief building plan operator is actually not around that weekend. I didn't have my calendar last month. So I think we could do the city portion first rather than the intake and the lights and the reservoirs. Um, but I'm still hoping to, you guys are still interested in doing that. We can do that. Uh, just yeah, it'll, actually, you said it'd probably be a, a quicker portion of the, the city. Is, it's definitely going to be quicker. Everything closer together, there's not as much driving time. So, I mean, try to knock it out in two hours or less. So what time do you want to start? What time? Based on how hot it's been, we have to say earlier the better. Okay. So it's up to whenever everybody's availability is and it's able to attend. Maybe 10, like that. Mm -hmm. Like 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. or something like that. It works for me. I get up at 4 o'clock every day. So. Oh, I guess I'll have to get up there. <laughs> Set your alarm, Jim. Oh, okay. I'll just yeah. figure it out the golf day. Well, unless you want nine. Well, I think it'll be done early. It'll be there done. You go. Like it's still going. Oh. 8 a.m. on the side. Need here. Need here. Send a note out to Joanne. I'll send one out there, but it's yeah, just a reminder. Okay. Which actually might even work better because if we're doing the Upper portion of the system later on, maybe You'll we'll see more. We'll see, but maybe we'll get to a point where it's closer to actually being done. Well, it'll be nicer time to go more drive time. around up there. Yeah, it will be fall. Yeah, so yeah, but that's, that's we can do that with the pump station and tanks. And... Yeah, because I haven't seen in my years, I don't think I've seen the entire distribution system, so that would be good. Okay, so Saturday 22nd at 8 a.m. Okay. Executive session? Yes. Uh, discuss the business manager's, business manager's position. position. So I need a motion to go into executive session. Motion. Second. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay. We're in executive session. I'll make a motion. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Okay. We're out of executive session. Back into regular session. Um, I guess I'm looking for a motion. I don't know who wants to make the motion to appoint Michael Oliveri 
to the position of business manager at a salary of 87,645 provisional pending exam. I'll make the motion. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those, those abstain? I'm going to abstain. Okay. Those opposed? Okay. Thank you. Passed. Thank you. Well, anything, any other business before us? No. Nope. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. Second. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. So we'll see you on the 22nd.